Hey guys, Andy Hughes here for another tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to set up a drum kit and I'll give you a few tips along the way. Today I have um, my four piece starter stag drum kit. I haven't used it in ages but I thought I'd get it out for this demo. Um, I've got my Premier kit upstairs and I didn't really feel like dismantling that so I thought I'd just use this. Okay, so now let's start with the kick drum. Okay, so I've got my kick drum and lower down the legs, just loosen these off. Now, for full projecting bass drum sound, and to not risk damaging the lugs at the bottom, you want it at least about an inch away off the ground. Because um, I've experienced this with my uh, vintage Premier kit, which I have in the studio upstairs, and um, basically one day I found bits of metal on the floor, and it was uh, damaging the metal of the lugs at the bottom. So, um, and the tension rods went all stiff as well when I was trying to uh, chip the reso skin. Okay, so now let's put the uh, kick drum head on. Okay, going to fit in uh, the uh, kick pedal. So make sure you just like, slide it right into the hoop. So, and then try and get it nice and level. Um, as you can see, I've got an Evans uh, patch on here. Uh, if you have one of those, try and get the beater um, like in the centre of it, so it's nicer. Okay, now you, there's these screws here, which you'll probably have on your bed pedal. You just want to tighten it up, like so. Okay. There's your kick drum. Um, if you're um, a bit lazy with tuning, or you don't like the sound, and you want less ring and overturn, um, I would suggest like putting a pillow in there, what I've got now, or even more materials, anything really. So yeah, shove anything in there and you'll get a more dull fudge now. So yeah. Okay, now let's move on to the snare drum. Now, set the snare stand. This is a very knackered old um, one made in China, my stand, which came with kit, which for over three years. And it's, as you can see, it's very wobbly in here. So, you know, it's like, bear with me, it might fall apart. <laughs> I've had a lot of problems with this. It's very stiff. <laughs> okay. So, as I'm a right handed player, I'm going to position it over here. Just to let you know, this um, drum tutorial is excluding cymbals, so basically it's just the drums, I'm afraid. But if you want one for cymbals, just uh, drop me a message and I'll see what I can do for setting up cymbals. Okay, so basically, I've let this out, so let's position the cymbal drum. Just be careful because these here can damage the bottom skin if you're not careful. Okay, now let's tighten this up here. Okay, moving on to the mouse top. Now, here's the mount. Just want to loosen this key off so can let that slide down. These uh, mounts are very common on uh, starter kits. They're very similar, like a rip-off really of the uh, power ones. So yeah, just make sure everything is nice and tight. That's cheap drums for you. <laughs> Now, I'd recommend 
end, take a little while setting this up so that everything's in reach. Um, so it's like you're like, playing a cockpit, you want to like, you want to be able to hit everything. So I'm just going to lower this down a bit. Make sure it's tightened back up. Sit down on the kit. Right. Now I'm just going to adjust this. So, it's nice to play. Whoops. <laughs> now, I'm going to have to tilt it to towards this side. So, it's more in reach. That's the only thing with cheaper kits. They're not as engineered as well. Okay. That'll do. Now, let's move on to the floor, Tom. Okay. Now, just want to put it to the side. Make things a bit easier and make sure that everything is loose. Slide it in. Slide it up, of course. If you give us something. Requires a lot of patience setting up a whole drum kit. <laughs> so. Okay, make sure everything is nice and tight so nothing falls over. sound. Well, there's these here, um, earrings by Evans, and you can get a pack for like a drum set like this for about, um, well, in England about six quid or something like that. Um, that's, how that that's how much my set cost. Um, and they're very good for taking some of the overtones out, but they do dampen the sound a lot, so if you want like, something with more, so you have more resonant sound on the drum, you like to uh, get some moon gems invested. Now I use them on my uh, Premier. And they're pretty good, nothing pieces. But yeah, they make a lot of difference. And then you post them when they're not on. Or if you want a tight budget, you could just put tape on, <laughs> like on this snare drum here. Okay, or if you want to be uh, really neighbour friendly, I would recommend getting a set of silence in place. These here. I can keep going straight now. Very neighbour friendly. Um, and I'd, if I had the time, I'd fit one on the kick drum as well, but they're a bit tricky, so. Well, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Cheers. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.